during that period of time, did you have an intimate relationship with Absolutely Mr. Whitaker? Absolutely not. Did not? No. So it was a friendly relationship? Yes. So what I'm asking you is, with a man that you don't know, that you've just met on the internet, who you do not have an intimate relationship with, I want to know how you approach the subject of getting your back rent paid. I want to say we were just talking about finances, just... You know, I had just started the new job at the mortgage company, and I think we were just talking about finances, just my life, what, you know, as a single mom, what I'm up against right now. And I honestly don't remember how it exactly came about. I'm an You open... want to tell me? Yes. Yeah, Very I good. Will. Gave you your chance. Okay. Um, I want to make one con quick correction to what Michelle had said, which we only talked on the, we didn't talk on the phone daily. We, we talked on the phone maybe two times if, uh, over the period of time. We did meet a couple times. Who is this? This is someone I'm dating. Her name is Lisa. Well, what is she here for? She's here because she was the one after, after the fallout of all this was able to put together that, Mike, you just got scammed. You needed her to tell you that? <laughs> I don't know why you brought her. That's sort of ridiculous. Where do you come from? What state? We came up from San Diego. So you're in California. It wasn't such a long ride. We didn't have to pay much for her to get here. <laughs> now, I'm back to the conversation. Okay. On June 18th, I received a text message from Michelle stating me and I May have... I said, uh... You received the text message. I'll look at it. Did you send him this text? Yes. Okay, I'll take it back. Odd. It, our, our Odd. Relation. I see this. This doesn't talk about rent. I have uh, another thing of text that talks about um, how financially hurting she was. Okay. Well, what it's suggesting is you're willing to do whatever is necessary to get money, even if it's something that you hadn't done before. That's what these texts are suggesting. And suggesting it to a friend with whom, according to you, you hadn't been intimate. Get to the rent. After seeing that, I was very concerned. I offered to help her out. I have... No, what did you say to her? And where were you? Were you on the phone? Were you I was, person? I was, we were texting. I was in my car driving. I believe she was probably in her you car driving. Text, you were texting while you were driving? I have Android Auto. I can voice text with it. I'd like to see the texts. I don't have all the texts of us talking of the rent. The next group that I have for you is her saying that she would, she, three different ones, that, on three different occasions, she said she would pay me back. I do have this one, Your Honor, that was part of the texting back and forth about paying the rent and, and, and her thanking me and saying that this, okay. this situation was turning her tummy. What triggers are we talking about? I have often found that when money and men, when the, it becomes a power struggle. It happened with my first ex-husband. As soon as a man feels like they have power over you, they can start demanding things. And I felt in this situation that the monetary piece of the puzzle was his power over me. Initially, you mean the fact that he paid your rent? Yes. 